fancy meeting you here. Uh, you don't strike me as the type to be all alone on New Year's Eve. I could say the same thing about you. But I'm sure with your winning personality, you won't have to drive home alone. Well, I like this place. You get a nice class of people here. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get a lot of people looking down their noses at you. But, uh, uh, I, they dress a little more conservatively than me. Are you sure it's the way you're dressed that makes them look down their noses? Oh, you mean it's not the way I dress? More that uh, I'm not a very decent person. Something like that. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I, I look around here. I see all these old millionaires. I see the millionaires, pretty young wives, millionaires, lawyers. I am quite certain that none of them have ever lied or cheated or done anything like that. They got all that money as a reward <laughs> for leading such a virtuous <laughs> life, right? <laughs> I'm sure they would agree with you on that point. Mm. Mm. It's almost midnight. How about some champagne? You alone, you ought to kick up your heels. I'm alone on New Year's Eve because I kicked up my heels. Yeah. I was really looking forward to this night. I thought Quinn and I'd be long gone, maybe off on a cruise or something like that. But... Here I am, stuck at the mercy of this district attorney. But he's the sign that your bread is buttered on, isn't he? Are you aware that you've set out to torment and destroy one of the wealthiest families in the state? Country. Ah. What if your bread were buttered on a different side? Now, this is just the beginning of the whiff of a germ of an idea. Oh, no. I'm sure every word you say on the stand is the truth and nothing but. Are you offering me a bribe? My father could buy and sell every man in this room five times over. He would do anything for Eden. Does that give you any idea? Since I obviously have no scruples anyway, and why I deal with a jerk like Timmons when I could be dealing with a classy guy like you, right? I think I've been misjudging you. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Come on, Reese. <laughs> what would that do to my credibility after you carefully leaked it to the press that I let the Capwells pay me off? I'd be in the big house before you could stop paying me on the check. Nice try. That's what shot. Oh, sure, you played a percentage. Hey, I'm sorry we couldn't work out a deal. <laughs> but here is to a happy and prosperous new year. I hope you fry. <laughs> Stay tuned. Who knows what's going to happen next?